Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing this week. Back out on the Little FC with Stevo. What we're going to be doing today is something a little bit different. Probably not by choice, although I have been wanting to do this for a little while. But uh, this morning when we were loading up the uh, boat, I yelled out to Stevo, grab the rods, and he thought I said, um, I've grabbed the rods. So we've turned up launched and hello we've got no rods or reels so what we did is I had a bit of a scrounge up um, the front of the little FC and I found a couple of these I've actually had it in the um, little FC for a while been meaning to do a little bit of hand lining but um, yeah so today it's all about catching fish on the hand line Hopefully get into a few fish and hopefully you guys enjoy a little bit of hand lining with real Kiwi fishing. Steve-o, I've got your rod. <laughs> hand lining today, brother. Steve-o actually didn't realize. <laughs> hand line time. Our first baits ready on the hand liner. See how we go. I've just changed the uh, trace on it, it's gone a little bit heavier just in case. Just pretty much the same as when you're stray lining with a rod. Little ball sinker to the hook. And we've got that burly pumping. Burly's really the key. Might take a while for the fish to come on the bite. And the plan is to um, just pick up a few carrots, hopefully. And we might like a snapper on the hand line. Should be quite cool fun. But we're pretty much in the uh, time where the carrots come in and pretty much take over. It's on that switch. That changeover where the carrots come in and the snapper sort of thin right out. It's actually not a lot of current here. I was hoping for a little bit more current. If we don't get anything here, we've got a spot further up here. And another little channel. So Give it half an hour, see what happens. Hooked up! The hand line! Yee -hee -hee. First fish. Feels like maybe a car way. It's hard to tell. Basically just pulling the line in and straight down at my feet. You can use the hand line and wind it back on. I've actually got some jigging gloves there in my bag that I could chuck on. It's not a big fish, but because I haven't actually played it hard, and I think it might be a nice snipper, Steve. -o. Yeah, 
tunuk. Because I haven't played it hard like you do on a rod. So it might wake up hardcore. And he could be just about a double figured fish actually, Steve. It's a nice fish. It's quite nice this FC boat's got like that little metal lip. You can actually use that. It's a stonker. It's a nice fish, Stevo. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, just a little snap on a handline. How's that, guys? For a nice solid fish on the handline. Probably close to 70 centimetres. <laughs> and there you go. Just shows you you don't need to have a big three, four, five, five hundred dollar combo to catch some nice fish. And there you go, guys. Handline time. It's been eating those little snake eels, baby snake eel. Came out of his gob. So steve -O's hooked up on his first fish on the hand line. Kawai. Which isn't too bad. There you go, steve -O's first fish on his hand line. That line, which isn't a uh, it's bait, even though it's a car, way, it's a bit of a bugger. But we need some fresh baits for those bigger snapper. Yeah, swallowed it anyway, so okay, guys. What we're we gonna do, see if we can get them back in the water. Beautiful fish on a hand line, it's not a bad fish. He was kicking. Oh, there you go. How's that? Nice fish on a hand line. Nice release. Let's get another bait out, Steve O. His hand line's going off. Steve O's hooked up again. The old hand line. Uh, gone. Got away. Went around that burly rope there, which didn't help. But um, yeah, this is that little snake eel I was telling you about. Came out of that snapper's, snapper's mouth. Not a big one. But uh, so far we've had a little bit of fun. We've only been here for 10 minutes. Nice snapper, kawai, and Steve just dropped that fish. And beautiful day. Nice and calm. Can't beat it. Pretty quiet, but I've just got something that grabbed my line. <sighs> Hooked up again. Feels like a car wire, this one. It's pretty quiet where we are. So we're thinking we might do a bit of a shift. Hopefully, it's a snapper. They do feel funny, these fish here. In the shallows, they get to feel like a kawai half the time. And I think it might be another snapper, Stevo. Maybe one for the bin this time. There you go. Fish. Nice fish on the hand line. Can't go wrong. We'll just chuck him in there for now so he doesn't tangle my line. 
we'll put him out of his misery what you got to be careful of is all your lines on the floor put the snapper down there and your line will be all tangled up in the fish so we'll grab him put him out of his misery There you go, another nice fish for the hand line. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, gonna do a little bit of a shift. Did get those real nice snapper, that real nice one, around 70 centimeters I reckon. And we got that other nice one in the bin here. It is quite hard to leave a spot that produces fish like that but we should be getting a lot more fish so we're going to head up to another little channel we're sitting in six meters at the moment the other little channel is about seven or eight meters so we'll head up there have a go get gurned up there which we're pretty much after anyway i thought we'd just try this spot on the way so we'll head up there and hopefully get into a few more fish on the hand line A little bit of a shift it was pretty quiet where we were we've come up to our carrot spot steve is pretty keen to grab a few carrots to take home we do get little sharks here as well so sometimes it's hard to tell but we are hoping that steve has got our target species Looks like it's doing the circle. Oh, Trevally. Little Trevally. Here you go. We do get Trevally around this time of year. Actually got a nice spot further this way. We get some real nice Trevally over there. So we could actually go and have a shot for some big Trevally if Steve wants such a big Trevally on the hand line. But yeah, we've just, just got here. It's up to you if you want to chuck him back or... steve is hooked up. On the little hand line. Doing the damage. A little bit better fish. We're hoping it's a, uh, at least a snapper. Being a bit of fish, not a kawai. I've already got a kawai for some fresh bait. Looks snapperish. Yep. Steve's first snapper on the hand line. Yeah. Yippee. There you go. Nice little fatty and a snapper. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit slow for us. I was hoping the uh, gurnard would be here. We may have to head over to our actual gurnard gurnard spot on that outgoing tide. I like to fish that spot over there for the gurnard. Something playing with my bait. Hopefully a gurnard. Maybe a snapper. Oh, 
Yep. Another nice snapper on the handline. Nice fish. So although that it's pretty slow for us, I think we'll hang here for a little while. I'm going to drop another burly into that burly bag. Not in the red one, but in the black one. It's got bigger holes. And it'll disperse a little bit better for us. Might keep those fish around. It's got another bait. Half a pilly. All my lines on the ground there. When I pull it up, to sort of circle it around. And when you go to cast, just let it go. That line should all just ravel out nice and fine. It's not in a tangle. Perfect at the bottom. Sort that barely out. I think we'll get that. <laughs> The other burly cranking for us. Let's see if we can get those fish turning up. Better numbers. Just wind that slack a bit. for that spool to start spinning. Okay, now what I've done is I've got my main burly, big burly in that red bag and then I've cut another little burly and I put in that main black bag. It's got the bigger holes and bigger chunks will come out once that thaws a bit. Hopefully that'll uh, get some more fish coming around and staying around for us. The current slowed right down and I'm hoping what will happen is the gurnard will turn up and just basically sit down here under the boat. Pick up a few gurnard, be good. There you go, Steve just throws it in and that line just nicely comes back up. Hooked up again. Feels like another snapper. It's definitely, definitely slow day today. But we are on that changeover period from snapper to gurnard. We haven't picked up any gurnard. But we're not really in our gurnard spot either. Now that the tide's going out, the fish might turn up a bit more. Or oh, we go and fish our gurnard spot. I like fishing our gurnard spot on that outgoing tide. go nice. another nice snap for the bin go the hand line and we were using kawai then I wasn't actually getting much bites I've gone back to pulchard and starting to get a few bites Steve's had a few bites on his kawai But the good thing to do sometimes is uh, when you're not getting bites, go back to your pulchard. 
It is a good bait. Oily bait. It's just doing half pulleys. Got the head there, I go twice through the eye and the gill plate down the body. Pull the line. That's it there. And we're basically running just that same old stray line rig. Little ball sinker to the hook. Got all my line there on the ground there. Make sure I'm not standing on it. Give it a flick. And all that line should just come up nicely off the bottom of the boat. Tide's turned, we've got some wind coming in, which normally happens on that turn of the tide. It's meant to be sort of 10 knots, 8 to 10 knots today. We've pretty much had no wind. Turn of the tide, this wind's just slowly creeping towards us. But yeah, we might go and do a little shift. Nice breeze. We're just contemplating whether to move. It's a trouble with a spot. It can just go off at any time. Snappy, another snappy hippy. Oh, he's only just hooked. There you go. Yeah. Hooked up. Feels a little weird. Not, not a snapper. Shark, I thought so. Little shark. It's not even hooked it up in the mouth. Yeah. Little doggy. Yeah. What we're going to do is do a bit of a shift. We've pretty much got enough snapper in the bin. I think we've got about five or six. Steve wants to try for some gurnard. So we're going to head over to a spot that we normally catch gurnard on the outgoing tide. Let's see if we can pick up a few of those for the bin. Get a bit of a mixed bin. It's been a pretty cool day, even though it's been a little slow for us. It's been quite fun actually. Went up in size and sinker, about a two ounce. That current kicked in, so we'll head over. Yeah, try it up north when the fish are in the harbour. That's what I mainly bought these little hand lines for. I've been up the front of the little FC for about a year. We took them up north and I was going to fish with them in the harbour. But we never got around to it. It'd be definitely fun to have a um, bit of a play up north with them in the harbour when the fish are in there.
Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with real Kiwi fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.